welcome to Autech Sushi Robots. Today we'll be guiding you through how to use the ASM895A Maki Maker. The 895A is the easiest way to make Maki Sushi Rolls for your food service operation. All you need to do is drop rice into the hopper and press the start button for a rice sheet to produce on the lower slide base. Because the sheet is produced so even, it's incredibly easy for a chef to pick it up with a sheet of nori, lay down ingredients, and quickly roll it by hand. Let's start by learning how to disassemble and reassemble the 895A. We highly recommend disassembling and reassembling the 895A every day to clean all the parts. If you've used an Autech Maki machine in the past, please note that the disassembly and reassembly process is a bit different from previous Maki machines. First, remove the hopper by pulling it straight up. Next, remove the front cover by lifting it up, then pulling it out. Remove the hopper base by lifting it up and out of the main unit while twisting the stirring shafts to free the gears from the stirring joints. For further cleaning, break down the stirring unit by pulling upwards on the green stirring stopper hooks that read push. With the stirring stopper removed, you can pull out the two stirring shafts. Next, remove forming roller A by pushing down on its respective roller joint while simultaneously pulling the roller towards you. Do the same with roller B underneath it. Remove the rice guide by lifting it upwards and then leaning it out of the main unit. Similar to the hopper base, the rice guide can be broken down into four individual pieces for individual cleaning by pressing on the hooks on the side of the rice guide, then pushing the front portion out. Remove the cutter unit by pulling the handle upwards to disengage it from the gears, then pulling it outwards. Remove the slide base by pulling it straight towards the front of the main unit. The back rear hatch can also be removed by lifting the bottom portion upwards and outwards. To reassemble the 895A, start by returning the rear hatch by aligning the top edge with the back of the machine and leaning it into place. Install the slide base by inserting it into the guide rails with the white seaweed stopper faced outwards. Next, apply an even coat of Autex oil onto the cutter unit's top roller, the upper surface of the cup base, and the inner portion of the white blade. We recommend spraying Autex onto each surface or onto a gloved hand, then rubbing each part down to spread the oil. Install the cutter unit by holding the handle and inserting the top edge first. Align the top edge with the lip of the cutter unit holder, then gently lower it into place. Next, reassemble the rice guide. Identify which pieces should be on the left or the right by checking the engraving on the side. It should read side L for left or side R for right. Insert the hooks of the left and right pieces into the rice guide base with the engraved side facing outwards. Make sure they click into place. Then, connect the hooks on the opposite side of the rice guide top, making sure that the round concave side is faced inwards, and the engraved word top is right side up. With it now reassembled, spray the inside of the rice guide with an even coat of Autex oil to prevent the rice from sticking to it. Similar to the cut base, we recommend spraying a bit onto the surface and spreading it around with a gloved hand. Install into the machine by inserting the rice guide bosses into the mounting holes of the rice guide base. Push it down to lock it into place. Check and make sure that the left and right rise guide pieces fit into the grooves of the cutter unit below. Moving on to the rollers. Start by applying an even coat of Autex oil to both forming rollers A and B. Again, give each one a spritz of oil, then spread it down with a gloved hand to coat the entire roller evenly. Identify which roller is which by looking for the letter engraved on the wider left-hand side of the roller. Install forming roller A by slotting the shaft labeled A on the left-hand side of the main unit into the wider end of the roller. You may need to rotate the roller for it to properly slot into place. Next, insert the opposite end of the roller into the white roller joint on the opposite side. Repeat these steps to install forming roller B on the shaft labeled B and the blue roller joint. Next, reassemble the hopper base. First, orient the body of the hopper base so the lower opening is facing you. Install the stirring shafts into the U-shaped grooves with the wider end on the left-hand side. Stirring shaft A, which has a wider and flatter appearance, will install into the grooves closest to you, while the spikier stirring shaft B will install into the grooves further from you. Align the slits of the back portion of the stirring stopper with the grooves on the hopper base, then lean it downwards for the front hooks to click into place. With the stirring unit fully assembled, apply an even coat of Autex oil onto all the inner surfaces, including the comb guide and the stirring shafts. Place the hopper base into the main unit by inserting it from above Spinning the large ends of the stirring shafts into the stirring joints on the left hand side. Ensure the stirring stopper rests on the metal shaft in front. If it's not, try rotating the stirring shafts for the gears to align inside the stirring joints. Hook the front cover onto the front cover shafts by aligning the grooves and then leaning it back into place. Finally, install the hopper by inserting the hook on the back side of the hopper into the slot of the hopper base. 
then lean it downward into place. And that takes care of the assembly and disassembly. All right, let's try making some sushi rolls. Turn on the ASM895A by pressing the power button. The LCD screen will light up and show the current version number. With all the parts installed, press the start button. The 895 will begin calibrating its motors and sensors. The 895A will move a bit on its own and a circle of dots will appear on the display. Once it's finished, the display will show the main molding pattern menu. Let's start making some rice sheets. First, drop in a few handfuls of prepared sushi rice into the hopper. For best results, break the rice up with your fingers as you drop it to avoid it entering as a single large clump. Press the start button to produce a rice sheet onto the slide base. Once the slide base has stopped moving, place a sheet of nori or seaweed onto the sheet. With the rice stuck to the nori, you can now move it off of the slide base and place it onto a different working space to add ingredients and roll it together. If the jog dial isn't moved for a short period of time, the LCD will change to display a count of how many rice sheets have been produced. When you're finished making sushi for the day, you can quickly remove all the rice within the robot by using the feeding function. To do this, turn the jog dial to navigate to the gear icon and select it by pressing down on the jog dial to open the settings menu. Then continue scrolling with the jog dial until you find feeding, then select it. After you select on, the 895A will expel any rice inside of the machinery onto the slide base. There you have it. Let's talk about the customization options available on the ASM895A. The molding pattern menu on the LCD display shows the images of general shapes of rice sheets that you can create. You can look through them and select which one you want by rotating the jog dial and pressing it down. By selecting one of these options, you can quickly change the shape of the rice sheets. By default, these options will create the udomaki rolls like California rolls, larger futomaki rolls and kimbap, small and thin hosomaki rolls, two udomaki rolls at a time, medium-sized rolls, and sushi burritos. When a molding pattern is selected, the black square in the top left corner will be filled in. Press the jog dial again on the currently selected rice sheet to open the customization menu. Here you're able to adjust specific aspects of the rice sheet produced. By turning the jog dial, you can change which option you would like to adjust. Press the jog dial down to select the highlighted option. When you select a customization option, the LCD will show you the current set value of the setting as well as a graphic that will represent what each setting will change. Rotate the jog dial again to adjust the value of the setting and press it down to lock that setting in. Let's briefly go over what each customization setting does. Thickness will determine how thick the rice sheet will be. Length will determine how long the rice sheet will be. Position will determine where on the slide base the rice sheet will be placed after it's produced. Compression will determine how much rice will be pressed into each rice sheet. Auto supply will determine if the 895A will automatically create another rice sheet after the most recent sheet has been removed from the slide base. After adjusting any of these settings, it will be saved to the currently activated mold pattern. To return to the molding pattern menu, press and hold the jog dial. If you're to experience any kind of malfunctions, the 895A will stop operation and make a rapid beeping sound. For example, if you don't have the hopper lid set up properly during operation, an error will occur. The LCD will change and provide an error code and a graphic animation on how to fix the error. In this case, in the top corner, the error code EH is displayed. A graphic showing the hopper lid being removed and put back onto the hopper is shown. Follow the graphic and reinstall the hopper lid. Then press the start button to resolve the issue. In the case that your error was not solved by following the graphic instructions, please refer to the website's troubleshooting guide with the given error code. Taking care of the 895A is really easy to do. All the removable parts, slide base, cutter base, forming rollers, rice guide, hopper base, front cover, and hopper must all be washed in the sink with light detergent or dish soap, a soft sponge, and some warm water. The main unit is cleaned using a damp cloth. Wipe everything down, including the back panel and all of the shafts. Give extra attention to the red oval shaped sensors and white square shaped sensors throughout the machine. And that covers the operation and maintenance of the ASM895A Maki Maker. If you ever have any questions, consult the operating manual, website, or give us a call. Thank you so much for choosing Autech.